Hello. <laughs> that's a, that's a good luck on your face. <laughs> Not forced at all, Kurt. Welcome to midweek update. <laughs> Amy, you have a beautiful backdrop there of pictures. Is that that's a that's new to me at least? Maybe I missed that on one of the updates, but yeah, no, I reoriented the view of my my office and had to have something there. So it, it's it's like the flowers in my garden are just a marvel to me because I have very little to do up with them. So those are all pictures of that, and of course, Alfie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a couple things we want to talk about today. Uh, the first one is I wanted to share that uh, rem a reminder that we're going to do a presentation during the Sunday school hour. Uh, a couple of us uh, youth and adults who traveled to uh, on the civil rights tour with Katie Gray Brown, we're we're going to put together a presentation. I have a picture that I asked Seth to put up on the screen. Just one of the pictures that's in the presentation. I thought this was kind of a neat one. This is on, on the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. Some of you may remember that bridge um, from watching the John Lewis uh, documentary. And that's, of course, the location of Bloody Sunday, the voting rights march from Selma to Montgomery. Um, so you've seen this scene, likely. But there we are on the bridge. And I just want to point out, I uh, have the privilege of holding a sign that says Church of the Brethren. And that sign Katie had brought along, um, it's a sign that was carried by Church of the Brethren folks in 1963 at the March on Washington. Um, it's just sort of the thread of, of history, the reminder of participation by the Church of the Brethren in the movement of civil rights, uh, the effort for civil rights. Um, kind of neat how all those things come together. The group that's standing there includes people from our church, but also from the Laverne Church of the Brethren. Anyway, uh, we're going to we're going to have a, a presentation, share a little bit about our experience, which was just an amazing experience. And we'll do that during the Sunday school hour. Uh, I think we're going to do it in the all things considered room. Seth and I have been talking back and forth about that, whether that's an adequate space. It's it's kind of nice to be able to stand closer to the screen and, you know, show different details of pictures. So that would be the reason for doing that. But if we get there and it's just doesn't it's not adequate space, then we may have to move it to the sanctuary, but we're aiming to be in the all things considered room. And simultaneously, there will be child care in the FLC for um, for the children, for any of the children who are there so that uh, parents and beloved grown ups and grandparents who um, bring their kids can go and be a part of that presentation. So there will be active time, there will be a story, there will be snacks, and then of course, just the joy of being together. For the kids. Mm -hmm. And then wanted to just say a few things about the following Sunday on the 30th. Uh, hopefully everyone has seen some of the announcements about um, the sort of farewell and celebration for, what? for Kurt and the Borgman family. But, really? but we wanted to um, just want to say a few things. One is this Sunday is the deadline for pictures. If you want to turn in um, some pictures of of the Borgman family and memories of their uh, their time and ministry with us. So thanks for many of you that have done that. But if you want to have something be part of that slideshow, um, bring that for the uh, uh, by the 23rd. So that's this Sunday. And there'll be a slideshow sh shown in the in the morning among some other things in worship. But in that evening, uh, we're going to have a, a meal together around. Uh, we're going to gather at 530, eat shortly thereafter. Uh, there's going to be some other activities. And then at 7 p.m., there's going to be a program for those that are sort of familiar with Fundango, Sounds and Tastes of Christmas, sort of that variety show uh, feel. Um, it's I, I think the the group that's been putting together put together a, a a really nice program I think so looking forward to that opportunity to um, celebrate together and and be in community on that evening of the thirtieth. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions or or something about that that day that's coming. The time is coming fast. You know, I, I was saying on Sunday that. Five months seemed like a long time, and now a couple weeks seems like a very short time. 
And I'm trying to make myself available for people who may yet want a conversation or a, a touch of some kind. So um, please, you know, please let me know. Don't don't assume that it can't be done just because the time is short, but reach out if you have a particular need um, to talk in these in this last stretch of time. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.